There were several hockey games on the NES, but the one that stands out above the rest is Blades of Steel. While other NES hockey games were a bit on the slow and or cartoony side, Blades of Steel was fast paced and intense. Instead of a direct overhead view from the rafters or a vertical goalie view, you get more of a 45 degree angle perspective. You can play a one or two player mode with three difficulty settings for the computer, and compete in either a single game or eight team tournament. The game isn't officially licensed by the NHL, but the eight cities are seemingly represented by their NHL counterparts, although some of the team's colors are way off. Since when is Edmonton green, Los Angeles yellow, and Montreal vomit color? And where the hell's Boston? Come on, we were the first US city to have a hockey team. What a jip. It really doesn't matter who you choose, really. All the teams and players are equal in attributes. So once you get your game mode and your team selected, you're ready to hit the ice. Pressing B will pass the puck and A fires off a slap shot. Every time you pass the puck you'll hear this. I can't tell if that's with the pass, watch the pass, makes the pass, eat my ass. Whatever it is you'll hear it after every single pass so get used to it. On defense you'll always be controlling the closest guy to the puck which is convenient in that you don't have to be constantly pressing a button to select him to keep up with the fast pace. But you do have to keep in mind that the computer will automatically be changing your player, so be ready to change direction. You also control the goalie, which is great, but it can cause a dilemma. If your opponent takes a shot and you save it, the puck will ricochet off you and he can get the rebound and take more shots. So you're left to decide whether you want to keep saving until you catch the puck, which doesn't happen nearly as often as the ricochet, or be more aggressive and try to take him out with the defenseman. Or if you think you're James Bond or something, you can try to control both at once. The computer control players won't help you out much, so either way you have to take matters into your own hands. When shooting the puck, a small red arrow will bounce back and forth across the net. That's the general direction your shot's gonna go. It all depends on the angle you're taking as to whether or not it will hit the target accurately. Obviously you want to shoot when the arrow is away from the goalie, and while you're controlling the goalie, you always want to be lined up with it. And although the A button is your slap shot, you can sometimes score in close range by using the pass as a wrist shot. The physical aspect of the game is definitely there as well. You can bump into your opponent and make a steal, and if you hit him good enough, you'll knock his ass to the ice. There's nothing like blasting your opponent with a good check, and there's no roughing or cross-checking penalties, so you don't have to be conservative, just beat the shit out of everybody. Speaking of beating the shit out of people, the most intense part of the whole game are the fights. Sometimes while attempting to take someone down, you'll get into a little scrapple. Sometimes someone gets the better of it and takes the puck, and sometimes a straight up fight ensues. When this happens, you'll get a close up view of the combatants. They drop their gloves, and it's on. B punches, A blocks, and the D-pad controls whether the face or body is the target of your punches or protection. The meters up top indicate how much energy you have left. You're going down, you Montreal motherfucker. Yeah, take a seat, bitch. Yeah, isn't it weird how the guy that loses the fight has to sit in the penalty box while the winner goes scot-free? Gives you more incentive to kick someone's ass, you get a freaking power play. The two minutes don't last all that long due to the accelerated clock, but since the game is so fast paced, it does make a difference. If you get into a scrapple while someone's on the breakaway, they're awarded a penalty shot. You'll take a shot from the blue line and use the d-pad to send the puck in one of six directions, while the goalie has to react quick and make the save. You'll also encounter penalty shots if you find yourself in overtime, as the two teams will duke it out in a shootout. Whoever has the most goals after five tries each wins the game. It's cool to have something different, but it's unfortunate that you can't play at least one sudden death period first. A nice novelty addition comes between the second and third period. You'll get to play a mini demo game controlling a jet that takes on a spaceship of some kind. It's a mock commercial, but it also advertises Contra and Jackal, a pair of Konami titles that I think you might recognize. It's a nice bit of icing on the cake, no pun intended. Although if you play another game in the same sitting, the second intermission will just show some lame-ass bear make a slap shot that goes right through the net, literally. 
He must be on roids. Nice shot sounds like a hidden message to me. When the game is over, the winning team stays on the ice to celebrate and have their picture taken. If you win the finals of the tournament, one of the players carries the cup around. Blades of Steel is a very solid hockey game. It looks good, sounds good, and above all, plays good. When it comes to multiplayer competition, you can't go wrong with Blades of Steel. So, that wraps up this edition of Valkalung's Game Reviews. See you next time.